Okay, we're back. We we're playing Cell. There's Desmond right there. And we are going to have to head up to the top to meet the Elder. But we decided we wanted to explore a little bit before we went up there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wander around and touch everything and mess with people's stuff. Is this my ship that, like, got... I guess so. Did they bring it back here? It kind of looks like my ship. Maybe someone's trying to fix it. Hi. I always bring Shell the trash I find. And each time, she manages to create something magnificent out of it. Really? That's nice. It's out here. This dude. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then a dingbot punched me in the knee. <laughs> okay. I got that reference. <laughs> Your clothes look so gosh friggin' cool. Aw, thanks. Everyone else here is wearing clothes that have been passed down for generations or patched up. Yeah, but I really dig it. Thanks, Queen. No. These people are pretty nice compared to the ones we met down below. The way she's carrying that sword reminds me of Musashi, uh, which is a very fun game for the PS2. Oh, oh, this gives me the creeps. What? These audio logs that are scattered around the cell. You can listen to people's thoughts who are already dead. It's like hearing ghosts talk. Well, everyone needs a hobby. Hey, it's research. Very depressing research. And it also raises plenty of questions. Now I'm curious. I'm going to look out for those out there. Well, we found we found a couple in the last video. What's this? That's nothing. I don't want to break anything. There's def that's a shop. Let's see what the shop has. God, everything's so dark in here. Have you guys heard of lights? Or windows? What's he- Oh, he's just selling the stuff that I have. I can't sell him anything, right? I guess not. And he doesn't want to talk to me, so... Musashi was a cool game. He had like the the blade like she has, but it had like I, 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 if I remember correctly, it had like different elements and like water, fire, or whatever, and you could switch. I think you could switch between the elements or something. I don't remember. I have the game. It was for P it was for the PlayStation Two. It was a lot of fun. I really liked it. Oh. Who's he, who are you? Where did they run off to this time? Huh? These kids are gonna get themselves killed. What? Their admiration for Desmond is cute, but them trying to be like him is stressing me out. Desmond has a fan club? If you find this scavenger squad, make sure they are safe. With that gang name, they're beyond saving. <laughs> so Desmond has a fan club. What's this? Is this cooking? It is, but I don't have any recipes. Why is it every time I do that she wants to swing her sword? Oh, it's because the cancel button is also the O button. Who's this person? I'm hiding from my annoying little sisters. I eat all of their delicious fries and pizza. Mm. <laughs> wow, is this a trash can? I guess so. Oh, what are what are these things? Can I go in here? There she is. Oh, is this the elder? Here I am. Uh, Desmond. <laughs> Couldn't stop talking about you. Welcome to Needle Island, Jaya. Um, hi, Mr. Elder. Sir? Oh, please. You can call me Eskari. Eskari. I don't want to come off like an ass, but this feels like a cult. This a cult? Uh, call it whatever you want. But you are welcome here. Uh, Desmond found you and your robotic friend in the abandoned district of the garden, I heard. 
trap found me in a crashed spaceship, but I don't know how I got there. She has no recollection of who she is or even where she comes from, boss. Hey, this is kind of personal info and he just spills it all in front of your cult. I think it's important to share that piece of information. And this is not a cult. That's something someone in a cult would say. Ah, memory loss. Hmm. Might be a side effect of a hyperspace jump. You must have traveled quite the distance. As I said, I wouldn't know. But I have a question for you, old man. I'm eager to quench your thirst for knowledge. Right. So these crystal pillar thingies on your ship... Admit, oh no. Yes, that whole spiel. They give me major headaches. And I think they're connected to the stone stuck in my face. Hmm. What a curious person you are. Is it true that you defeated an overseer? I'm not one to brag, but yeah, I did. And I have the burns to prove it. We might able to help you and by helping you you might help us in our direst hour mm, this sounds overly dramatic i love it i'm in i told you she's the person we needed as you see we were able to establish a society here that is self-sustainable and uses what the station has to offer but the engine that keeps everything running is starting to overheat. This is causing harm to the very fragile artificial ecosystem that we need to survive. I don't know if I'm much of a fixer-upper, but I sure can whack things. Don't worry about the fixing part. Hmm? You will be responsible for the slice and dice part on this mission anyway. What is the mission, and who is that woman? I like her style. Call me Cheryl. I'm the fixer-upper of this place. Nice to meet you guys. You can call me... Reed, I suppose. And that's Chap. What Elder Astar is trying to say is that this arc is about to heat up to a level where we either combust spontaneously or blow up. Both scenarios are suboptimal. We need to cool down the engine floor ASAP. When you're ready for quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. I'll head out to secure the area surrounding the wilds. Like you secured me back then with that overseer. H hey, come on. Ah, uh, good luck, children. The fate of Cell lies on your shoulders. I see. No pressure. Let's, at, let's talk a little bit to the leader, get some knowledge. Uh, I don't like this word, but most people come to me if they... No offense, but you must be really old. Uh, I am actually as old as the... That means... Uh, I stopped counting after one... Wow, you and the ship are still very sharp for your age. Oh, thank you. Of course, there is a lot of rust, and there are more patched up areas than original ones. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Seems like I not only lost my memory, but also my filter. So, that dialogue just skipped all over the place, didn't it? I didn't do that. It was like jumping. Hopefully, well, thank God for the, like, uh, captions. So we can actually read it. This doesn't look like a cruise ship, judging by all the dangerous robots. The cell was the last hope of my people. New home? Yes, the resources of our planet had been depleted. And so the biggest corporations of that time banded together to flee certain doom. Ah, they developed an experimental engine 
that was able to bend space and slow down time to travel long distances. I guess now comes the part where something goes wrong. Uh, this would be an understatement. The engine was tampered with, lost in space. The whole society of the cell collapsed eventually. We, the citizens of Needle Eye, and those behind the walls of the garden, are the only ones left. So there are even more people out there. up with it already stuck there yes but it does not feel like i did it on purpose it hurts like you mentioned the pain is worse once you are close to the chronal pillars yeah so what do these things do ah the engine of the cell was able to manipulate the tempo how time passes inside the ship so while time would pass normally outside the ship on the cell itself, it would pass slower? <laughs> exactly. These pillars distribute that energy all across cell. But without the time core controlling them, uh, most of them overcharged and broke. Time core? The Paradox engine is powered by three cores. Time. Manipulating how time passes cell sure yeah makes sense space bending the space in front of the cell to leap bigger distances in less time smart gravity to maintain control of time and space so they don't act out ain't nobody got time for that with the time and the space core missing, I fear the worst for the long-time functionality of the engine. How do you lose something that important? This story is for another time. It is a troubling story that I don't feel too happy to share. Sorry, Gramps. Didn't want to freak you out. Okay, I don't really care about these other things. Bye. I need to talk when you're to ready her. For quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. Got it. All right. We well, we found the elder very quickly. What are these things? I wish I could see what they actually were, but I can't here, get in there. Buddy? I am taking care of the flowers here. Aw, that's pretty cute. What kind of flowers are you growing there? One that makes you grow stronger. That's ambitious. But not impossible. Vixel's artificial environment caused plenty of cool mutations on the plant life. Are you sure you're just a kid and not a really tiny scientist? I am not tiny. I'm actually quite big for my age. Sure. So what cool mutations are there? There are plants that will increase your stamina or even your health. Are you sure this isn't just some hallucinogenic side effect? There's only one way to find out. I need to eat it? You need to eat it. Great. So, plants that help me. Can I... I don't think I can eat these, can I? It's not giving me a prompt. Can I eat this one? <laughs> Well, that did something. I think it gave me another heart. So I have to wait for those to bloom. They're not ready yet. Is this Desmond's house? Yes, yes, I know. I look pretty muscular. Uh, actually... I regularly visit Desmond's dojo to feel the burn. Practice my dingbot smashing skills. <laughs> Something is definitely going on here. Every moment, someone goes missing on one of the supply runs. Is 
someone looking into it? I know Desmond and the Elder are trying their best to clear things up, but I'm of good humor and nervous about this. What if I am the next to vanish? Spooky. Are they vanishing or are they just dying? <laughs> Uh, we need to go find Shirl, which I think was down below, because I we went into it and our ship was in there. Let's head downstairs. This was actually pretty easy to find. I thought it was going to have to do like more work to find the Elder's Hut, but yeah. What's down this way? What's this? Oh, it's just a table. Well, oh, nothing. The, it really gives the idea of an open world but it's actually very very linear which I'm fine with I like I like that okay um, I'm pretty sure it's right in here because this is Cheryl's crafting is there anything I don't think there's anything else I need to look at let's go up here real quick so we didn't go up here this last time let's see if there's anything interesting up here oh God I'm starving same time, I can't stand the food we get anymore. Vixel's garden is providing us with juicy fruits, healthy vegetables, and even some meat. But you can only eat so many Marzen steaks in your lifetime before it all tastes B O R I N G. I heard there's a weird looking creature living near the wilds who can teach you super tasty recipes. Oh, okay. That's an interesting thing to note. What the hell is this? Just some kind of orb thing. I can't interact with it in any way. Get down the steps. So, so alright, so there's nothing really down or up there. And this just takes us back. Yeah. So let's go into Cheryl's place and get started with this mission. Is she in here? There she hey, is. Reed. Thanks for helping us out. You just landed here and now you're all wrapped up in this mess. I feel kind of shitty about this. Please, don't. I'm not keen on getting blown up as well, and we have nothing else planned for the next few days anyway, as far as I can remember. So... I like your attitude. You fit right into our crowd. So, are you ready for the mission briefing? Give me the tea, girl. So, we have to cool down the engine floor. Therefore, we need to redirect the cooling system to it. Years ago, the cooling system was routed towards the science station. What for? Actually, no one knows. Even Elder Ascari is clueless for once. The last time we sent someone there to investigate, she never came back. Ah, let me guess. I should try my luck next. You will not go alone. Des is going as well, and you will be his backup. At least we won't die alone. That won't happen. I can assure you of that. How can you be so sure about this? Because the last expedition didn't have me to craft gear and gadgets. Fair enough. When are we heading to the science station? Not directly. The science station is not accessible due to the damage in the area leading up to it. That's why you'll need to visit the wilds first and get something from me. The wilds? doesn't sound as inviting as the garden. It is indeed extremely dangerous and full of wild animals that will try to rip you to shreds. Okay. Cool. Before the incident, the place was a habitat for different species. They installed a robot there that took care of the flora and fauna. I need you to find that robot and get me its biosynth silk dispenser. Biosync silk pencil what? You will know what I mean once you see the robot. Once you bring me the dispenser, I'll be able to build you something super cool to traverse gaps and do other cool stunts as well. And save Cell and its people. Yeah, and that. You'll get to Desmond if you go through the gate near the elevator exit after leaving Needle Eye. Okay, give me a moment. Recap time. Go back to the garden and find Des behind the gate. Get into the deadly wilds. Find the robot there. Get its dispenser thing. Bring it back to you. I do some DIY magic. 
you get a thing that gives you access to other parts of the cell. I go into the science station, cool things down, save the day. Everyone lives! Happy people everywhere. We make out. Fireworks. Boom. Consider it done. And if you find some junk on your way, feel free to bring it to me, and I'll see if I can upgrade your gear. Gotcha. See ya. Come back in one piece. Okay. Can I do anything right now? As far as updates? Okay, so I need your old blade in a new light. Brutally resharpened. Can be cheerful. How do I do that? Oh, so I need to get these other things. So I need clutter, cables, broken cores, and claws to get this. I guess it's a new junk blade. Don't forget to bring me your loot. All right, got it. So we're gonna head out into the wilds. Sounds fun. Um, ah, I'll go down here. Yes. Down we go. 